so I wanted to share something, a thought that came to me while I was running. And um, if you know me, you know that I run uh, and I run often. And if you don't run, that's okay. Hang tight with me. I promise it's going to be applicable to your Scentsy business um, as it is today. And hopefully you'll kind of get the analogy. I'm going to try to rein it in. But like I said, I, I thought, I've been thinking about this while I was running. Um, while I've been running and I actually get a lot of ideas while I run. Um, for some reason it helps my brain function better. I think that, you know, it's like that for a lot of people, not everyone, but like, for example, our koozie challenge this month, got that idea while I was running for 200 PRV active in April, you get one of those cute little custom koozies product of a run. So oftentimes I run as much for my mental health as my physical health. Um, it's just, it's just part of my day actually. And this year I'm in a part of a group, a challenge group to run a mile a day for the whole year. So this is new for me. You know, usually I take a few days off. Um, but this is, this is a new challenge I'm part of and, and I'm part of it. And so I'm, I'm doing it. I'm on 106 or 105 days in a row, 106 days, however many days we've had in 2020, 1,780, it feels like, but anyway, <laughs> so what I run about three miles a day. So this particular challenge group, you just have to do a mile. It's, it's fine because if you're hurt or you're sick or you're, it's cold, you're okay. You can just do one mile and be done. But most of the time I run three. Three is kind of that magic number for me, three miles. It's about 30 minutes. Um, and that's what kind of helps my, my brain. So most days I run three miles. Some days I run more, some days I run less. And most of the time I run about the same pace. Um, even though I've been doing it for this many days. Because if you always do what you've always done, you always will get what you've always had. And while routines and systems are the backbone of our businesses, just as my routine of waking up, having coffee, watching the news, not talking to my husband <laughs> while I wake up, and then washing my face, putting my contacts in, going for a three mile run, coming home, showering, getting dressed, and going to work is my morning routine super important. If I always just do that, my speed and my time is not going to improve. When my speed and my time improves is when I incorporate things like interval sprint training. That's how you get faster. If I plot along the same three miles every single day, which I do typically both most days, I'm not getting any faster. But if you incorporate sprint training, you'll see your VO2 max increase and your times will get faster. I know that's a lot of running words. Promise I'm bringing it home. If I incorporate strength training and work on my core with abs and sit-ups and tucks, work on my arm strength so I can pump my arms, work in some lunges, work in some hamstring exercises, that's when I'm going to see improvements. So it's those little different things that we do that actually help make the difference. And why don't we do those things? Because they hurt and they're hard to do. They're outside of the comfort zone. They're outside of the normal routine. So how does this apply to our Scentsy businesses? If we're always doing what we've always done, then our results are going to be the same. We have to have those surges the sprint interval training, the core workout training, whatever, in this analogy, we have to have those surges to really see the difference. So how let's let's look at some like real life examples. If you always post got an order going in on Friday, who needs something? That's great. That consistency is super important to your business. Then add to that, you know, the private messages, the, um, you know, maybe th that's why booking blitz is we see results. That's that surge training. That's that interval 
interval work. So if you have the same customers, how do you get new customers? You have to have some sort of surge, surge um, outreach to get them or you're just always gonna have the same customers and you're gonna wear them out. So how can you do that? Right now is a little bit of a different time because we're all, all at home. So asking people to host Facebook parties for you and there's a variety of different Facebook parties that you can do. I'll talk about that in a second. But asking people to host parties invites you to a whole new group of people. So I've been doing Facebook parties. I had a couple parties book up a couple of parties, which made me super nervous because I have a script that I use to make my Facebook parties easy. I've shared it in this group before. But what I noticed when I looked at the content of who was invited is even though this person booked from the other person's party, there's still a, a variety of people who were not that other person's party. So the same script applies, but you throw in different things, right? But then that's opened you up to a brand new customer base. So that's one way to do it, getting people to book Facebook parties for you. Um, the way to get people to book Facebook parties for you is to, I would think, in my experience, the best way is to private message people and say, would you be interested in hosting a Facebook party? They're about a week, they're super fun, everybody's trapped at home anyway, I'm gonna showcase the new products. You have the opportunity to earn free and half price items. Um, so so that's fun, I mean, that's, that's how I'm currently doing it. Um, you can post a goal, like I have a goal to have two more Facebook parties, this week, they're super fun. You, I mean, it's important to let people know what they're getting into, that it's not gonna be this big commitment from them, that it's not gonna drag on forever, that it's not going to be um, a, a level of overwhelmed. It's fun, it's simple, people can shop and have Scentsy delivered right to their door, and what's in it for them is the free and half price and getting to see the stuff. So, uh, groups, I would say, Facebook groups, there's a group for everything. So find and join some groups that are of your interest. And when you're in those groups, you're not spamming people with Sensi and that they should host a party in there, right? In the groups, you're building relationships and that's kind of how you're meeting new people. You're meeting new people by um, getting referrals, by... Um, reaching out and asking for referrals, quite frankly, like folks don't necessarily know to refer you to their friends if you don't tell them like, hey, I, lo I love referrals. So if you know anybody who needs Scentsy, um, let me know. If you're a new consultant starting out, more than likely your customer base is your friends and family. I've been doing Scentsy for 12 years and my customer base isn't large, largely my friends and family. I have a couple family members who buy from me every once in a while. I have a couple friends who buy from me um, as well, but most of my customers are customers. Now, of course, I consider my customers my friends and my host my friends and everything like that, but it's you're not wearing out that same warm, warm market of the people who you know, the people who are in your inner circle, because you've expanded beyond that. And I think that that's really the goal, right? Because I think that people, um, yeah, it, you don't want to be asking the same people over and over again. So you have to expand your customer base and you expand your customer base by having those surges and doing the, the extra things, the out of the routine things for a little while to grow that. And then, you know what happens a lot of times after I sprint half a mile? I'm really tired and I need to jog the next half mile. <laughs> That's in interval training. So when you have a surge and you ask a bunch of people a if they want to host a Facebook party or um, if they want on your sample list, because we can still mail out sample mailers right now, uh, then it's okay to kind of like catch your breath and get back. Um, in your routine and then do it again. Like that's why I think that surges and interval training is a, such a good analogy for what we need to do in our Sensi businesses to make it grow. So I hope that's been helpful. Uh, yeah, 
I think that that's all I want. I think that's all I want to say about that. I've just been thinking about it a lot. Like, if you want to get something in your business that you don't have currently, you're going to have to do something you've never done before. If you want to grow your Sensu team, you're going to have to ask people and you're going to have to keep asking people, right? Like it's that you can't just keep doing the same things over and over and expect a different result. So keep doing those routines that you have in place and keep that consistency and add the surges of the messages and the booking blitzes and the follow-ups and the, um, you know, the, the other things, okay? Let me know if you have any questions about that. I hope it kind of all ties in and remember right now in the time that we're in even if you feel that sales aren't what you thought they might be use this time to be building relationships build relationships build relationships build relationships comment on people's posts genuinely care ask them how they're doing check in and you will stay relevant as a consultant in their mind and if they don't purchase from you they'll think of you when their friend wants Scentsy or whatever. So um, I'm proud of you all. Y'all are rocking it. I think we're doing great. I think we're going to finish April strong. Um, and yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Bye.